Okay, this is the video solution to question number eight on the uh, final exam for the winter of 2012. And we're given a collection of p-values, okay, a, uh, a through D. And what we're supposed to do is match these p-values with their appropriate conclusions. It might be helpful to recall that we reject the null hypothesis if our p-value is less than or equal to alpha, our significance level. So let me clean that up there. Okay. That means we will reject H naught. Okay. So looking at the first statement, the evidence against the null hypothesis is significant, but only at the 10% level. Okay. Well, to be significant at the 10% level, that means the p-value has to be less than alpha, according to our rule. So it has to be less than 10%. Okay. So it can't be D. And it's only significant at the 10% level, so it can't be A, because A is significant at uh, the 5% level, or the 1% uh, significance level, for example. And B is significant at the 5% significance level as well. Only option C is significant at the 10% level, okay? but nowhere else. Good. Next statement says, the evidence against the null hypothesis is very strong. Okay, uh, well, I would argue that a couple of these look to be pretty strong, but the, the strongest response is going to be the p-value with the lowest value, right? Because if my decision is to reject the null hypothesis when the p-value is small, then the smaller my p-value is, the more evidence I have against the null hypothesis. So I'm going to say letter A here, because that's the smallest p-value. Okay. The next statement, there is not enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis even at the 10% level. Okay, well, to fail to reject the null hypothesis at the 10% level, that means my p-value can't be less than or equal to 10%. It has to be larger. And the only option here that uh, meets that criterion is D. All right. And then lastly, the evidence is significant at a 5% level, but not at a 1% significance level. Where our, well, our only option left is B. Okay, but that's also clearly the answer because uh, this p-value of 3.2% is less than 5%, but it's not less than 1%, uh, so it does meet this statement's condition.